side of the highway. Just an incredibly beautiful state park. And, pro tip, if you go in at the Miller Point viewpoint, or Miller Trail viewpoint, which is like a pull-off, you don't have to pay the entrance fee because there's no entrance station and you can hike into the rest of the park from that point. So, and it's $10 a day for non-Nevada residents, Nevada residents. Um, so, you know, I'm planning on being here for a few days. It'd be 40 bucks, but instead it's free. <laughs> really, I'm just becoming a channel that shares with people how to get into places for free, which I love. Little muddy. As the sign says, this was a water tower that was abandoned because of high alkali content. It was capped and the system abandoned. Still pretty cool though. Let's go. You ever just go somewhere and you're like, yeah, this is kind of the perfect place to kill someone? Which might be a weird thought, but I really do go to so many remote places that sometimes it's like, man, really get away with murder. Not that I condone that and don't do that and you shouldn't be thinking that, but it's something that I think about. <laughs> also, it's crazy the difference. It's so cold in there and it's immediately warmer once I get out here which is great I mean look at that view it's raining I know it doesn't look like it but it's raining oh that's a noise guys that is also just mud little muddy. Wow. It's so tall. Uh, Y'all, I have no idea how I'm getting back without making a huge mess. This is insane. Oh my god. They should really call these the mud caves, because this is wild. It's supposed to rain the next two days. I don't even want to know how bad this is going to be. I will not be coming in here. I mean, there's really no way down but to slide. Okay. As long as I don't fall in that hole, I am good to go. Okay. I don't know if my shoes, look at that. Wee. I really think this is like such a hidden gem. Everybody goes to Valley of Fire. I love Valley of Fire. I've never been here. I've had this bookmarked, like, saved on Google Maps for, like, five years. And I'm finally getting around to showing up. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Going back up.
so much mud on my shoes. Uh, I'm hungry. I might make some food. I don't know, guys. I have, I have hopes this might be a really good sunset. The clouds are phenomenal. So we shall see. I'm going to hang out here till sunset, obviously, because this is a great viewpoint. So, Since everyone thought I was going to cut my finger off in the other video, I went out and got a can opener. Because I am an adult. We are making pizzas. But they didn't have naan bread, so I'm using pita bread for the base. I think it'll work, and it's a circle, which is more like a pizza. So yeah, pizza. Doing a little toasty toast. Got my toppings, got a living basil plant that will probably be dead in a few days, so I do not have a green thumb. I kill plants. It's a problem. And now we cover them and we let it melt. Looks pretty good. Can't believe I sacrificed like two years of eating Parmesan because the person I was with hated the smell so much. It's such a good cheese. How can you hate the smell of Parmesan? Wild to me. But anyways, now I get as much Parmesan as I want. And garlic powder. I'm gonna finish it, both of them. And I'll see you guys for sunset. Well, all the clouds vanished, so. <laughs> Here's to hoping sunrise tomorrow is better. Cause yes, I will be back for sunrise. I'm leaving now just because sunset's over and I need to kind of figure out where I'm sleeping tonight and I want to do that before it gets dark. So. <coughs> Sorry. Off I go. There's a free campsite that's supposed to be only a couple miles away, so I'm hoping it's good. We shall see though, you never know. Back up the steps we go. So I drove to the free campsite, well I tried to, and I turned off the road and it's just mud. Everything is mud. So I'm gonna hang out here for a few hours, get ready for bed, just hang out and then I'm gonna try to sleep at that viewpoint I was at. I think there's signs that say no camping, but I think if I park far enough back, theoretically I am parked before those signs so I can claim that I didn't see them. And also typically what I found out, because I've slept in a lot of national parks too, where like you're technically not allowed to, is if you show up and like you don't park till like 11 or 12, and then you're back up again around six, like that period of time, typically like they won't check. If you're there before that though, typically they will, um, typically they do like a loop and they kind of check to see if people are there who shouldn't be. But if you wait and there's like a sweet spot of like six hours where you usually can get away with it. Not always, but I mean, what's another knock? Won't kill me. It'll just make me stronger. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bed, guys. Sorry, I know it's dark. You probably can't see anything. But um, I don't want to turn the light on because I'm not obviously supposed to be here sleeping. Uh, though to be fair, they say no camping. And I mean, technically, I'm sleeping in my car, which I mean, I guess it's camping, but it's not really. Anyways, I'm going to bed. See you guys for sunrise. Good night. <laughs> Good morning. Made it through the night.
Not much of a sunrise. A bit too cloudy. I mean, it's still pretty. It's just, you know, meh. I got up for sunrise. Now it's time to go take a nap. I just ran into the nicest man. He's a vet from the Vietnam War and he comes here every day to do those stairs that I put in my video. He goes down them all and then he comes back up and that's what he does every day. I love people like that. I just love, that's just like a random way to meet people, you know, they just show up and they're nice enough to say hi, so it was nice meeting you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking quietly, there's people here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end it here. I really recommend Cathedral Gorge State Park. If you guys are in the area, driving through, I'd say it's about two hours from St. George and maybe three hours from Vegas, but it's a really cool park. It's small, but there's a lot to do. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.